in our tech report, a Kenyan social enterprise school for schools seeks to empower university students with digital tools and resources through the provision of affordable laptop computers. The company is trying to develop innovative ways to cope with COVID-19. Cool for Schools offers a financing plan that is bundled into student tuition fees to assist students who cannot otherwise afford the full upfront payment of a laptop. Africa 54's Paul Diho spoke to Sangay Olakenga, the Chief Executive Officer of Cool for Schools. Hello, Mr. Sankey Kenga. Welcome to Africa 54. <laughs> How are you? I am fine, thank you. So, uh, thank you so much for having me. What is uh, Cool for Schools uh, about? We are a digital access program um, that en enables university students to get access to devices and tools uh, such as laptops that they may otherwise not be able to afford it. We are um, kind of breaking down a, a major problem of access um by enabling these students to more or less bridge this gap uh, how do you get these laptops uh, do you have uh, like funding do you use your own uh, resources uh, to so, buy these laptops for school if you provide this on your own it becomes very expensive but if you bring partners on board to solve this particular problem it becomes much easier we bring together uh, manufacturers who give us subsidized devices and that's the like so uh, Microsoft, Dell, Lenovo, etc., um, and and we bring in banks uh, like Stanbic Bank is one of our partners here, um, and now the local universities who, who are pretty much our customers. You're able to offer these students this device almost like a loan, so it makes it cheaper for a parent to afford. Um, and pay for it over the period of time the students are in school for. Now that the schools are closed uh, as a result of uh, COVID-19, uh, how has this uh, impacted uh, your program? It's impacted us in a, in a big way because you can imagine now um, you're trying to solve a problem for uh, students who are not in school. Like, for example, these terms, uh, repayments have become very difficult. Um, uh, some of the parents who had picked up the laptop, uh, they're just saying you need to give us a bit of time uh, to see how to put these resources together. And obviously that has an impact on our cash flow in, in some ways. Um, we've had to uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, put quite a number of our staff on leave just because, you know, there's really nothing much to do. And it is also kind of presented us with some kind of opportunities in that um, the distance learning has become something that uh, most of uh, now the investors are embracing. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's a very tough environment, especially for parents, <laughs> because they have to figure out quite a bit. Uh, you can imagine if you're not a tech-savvy parent and you know, you're being asked to download this particular app or you need to have these minimum specifications for a particular uh, hardware device for um, your child to be able to get through this e-learning experience. Uh, it's a new normal um, that I think we are all trying to embrace. Uh, uh, in, in some respect, of course, it has meant that I've had to deal with parents on one-on-one -on -one basis. So being able to... Uh, it's a very interesting learning experience. There's a lot that we are learning through um, uh, these challenges, um, and I believe we'll come out of it a bit more stronger. Uh, how about in the context of uh, people not uh, having uh, internet? Uh, how are you serving those people? We've managed to kind of get into partnership with some of our telcos um, to provide uh, um, uh, uh, subsidized um, internet bundles. Uh, one of the greatest advantages in being in Kenya is uh, connectivity. Uh, Kenya, I think, has among the best uh, connectivity in, in Africa, if I'm not wrong. We are partnering right now with Telcom Kenya. Um, and what we've done is that, we, as, as opposed to the typical commercial bundle that you would buy for a certain particular price, we subsidize it for you. So that's how we've tried to bridge uh, that gap. So I think it's kind of brought a bit of innovation in, in a sense, because now everybody has been forced to work in this new um, this new normal. Uh, speaking about uh, innovation, are people coming up uh, with uh, great ideas uh, that are geared towards uh, solving some of these uh, pressing challenges that we see as a result of uh, COVID-19? I have seen amazing, um, uh, a lot of amazing innovations, especially to do with hygiene, 
um, like you know places to go wash your hands, um, and you can you can see that uh, yes we may not have the first world country resources, uh, uh, but we are very ingenious in how we go about solving our problems. Like you've seen, suddenly we are able to produce our own uh, PPE uh, materials, um, something that you know we thought we have to import. Um, I think. In, in in a way, this has all this has been a blessing in in, in these guys. Mr. Kenga, I love your optimism. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. That was Africa 54's Paul Diho speaking to Sangay Olekenga, the chief executive officer of Cool for Schools in Nairobi, Kenya. And that's our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voaafrica.com. From all of us here in Washington. Thanks for watching.